Hello there, this is Sam from Unreal Madness and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial. Now this tutorial is going to follow on from a main menu tutorial. And this tutorial... So many tutorials. And this tutorial is going to be about the in-game menu. So basically when you press this game, you, we want to have three functions. One to resume the gameplay, the second to access the options, and the third one we want to quit to main menu. Now for the options part, for the options um, setting, that's going to be a different um, widget itself. So I'll be doing it in a separate video to it because there's quite a lot of uh, typing in that one. I don't want to mix it in with some fun times we're going to be having with this. Now, if you want to know how to create the menu, um, you can watch my previous video, which I'll leave a link up here now. Because reason being is we're going to start off by right-clicking our main menu. And we want to do duplicate. Now, if you have... See, if you have not created your main menu or don't know how to create one, then you might want to watch the video I still have up on the screen now. Um, we want to call this in-game menu. In-game menu. Beautiful. Now, we want to open it up. Now, this is what we had before. So, we want to delete this. And we want to go to graph. And we also want to delete these functions here. Now, we want to add in three buttons, three nice little fluffy buttons. We're not going to do it by um, the images this time. Reason being is I want to show you guys how to um, how to do the button variation as well. So, the first thing I, what I want to do, I'm not sure if that's what you want to do. I want to add padding to these because these are too close to each other. Um, then, we're going to add text to these boxes box text box text box and we want to change the name of these text boxes so if we go to text up here we want to type in resume resume then we want to go down to a second box and we want to type in options now as I said do not worry about the options mode uh, menu for the moment as I'll be covering that in a different review and I'll even show you how to link it up to your in-game menu and your main menu so you don't need to worry about that um, then for the last one, we want to do quit to main menu because you know no one just wants to leave the game. They want to go back to the main menu where it has nice pretty pictures. So you know it's like one of gamers every annoyance is like oh I want to quit this game, and you can't Alt F for it, and then all of a sudden you get have to go through main menu and then you have to quit that. But we're gonna do that hell. Okay, so now we got three options here. We want to go down to resume and we want to drag down to here and we want to go on to event and click on on click. I am talking a bit too fast, I just realized that, I do apologize. So what we want to do now then is when with the resume function is we want to show a mouse cursor. So we type in set show mouse cursor and untick the context sensitive. Uh, we want to make sure it's unticked because we want to hide it. Um, what it is, is some game modes or most game modes don't require the mouse cursor to be shown and it can cause issues. If you if you if your game mode dull, your game does require the mouse cursor to be constantly on, then um, do not input this in the set show mouse cursor into this blueprint. Sorry, into this menu or the, your character blueprint, which I'll show you later. So you want to make sure it's show mouse cursor is unticked, and you want to drag off target. You want to type in get player controller. Oh man, I do not know why I'm talking so fast. So after that, what you want to do is you want to drag that off and you want to type in set game paused. And you want to make sure it's unpaused because we want to unpause the game. So then after that, we want to drag it off and then we want to remove from parent. So what this will do is when we click the magical resume button, the game will tell we don't want to see the mouse cursor we want to unpause the game and we want to remove the window so now that is set up and working well you want to go to your game and you want to select your character so this is my main character if I can select it please select it. thank you so this is my main character now you may have a guy like one of these but these are these are the pawns I'm, I move around so I want to go to edit blueprint and open level blueprint editor uh, okay. Now with this, we want to add a function to 
when we press escape we want it to view so we want to we want to be able to view this marvelous creation we have just made so if we go to escape we want to drag that off and we want to type in um let's type in set game paused yeah let's set in set game paused want to click that and then we want to drag off and we want to type in show mouse cursor and make sure that it's unticked and we want to show the mouse cursor drag off target like we did before and just get and type down get player controller and then after that what we want to do is we want to drag that off and we want to type down create widget without the hashtag create widget and let me just zoom in for you guys we want to select the class we want to type in in-game menu or not type in select in-game menu then you want to drag off the return value and type in add to viewport now I've rushed this quite a bit with you guys I do apologize um, I'll see how it is at the end of the video I may have to redo this actually which I don't fancy doing. So escape will set, will pause the game, show the mouse cursor, open the widget. So we're going to try it out now. Um, because we have it set to escape, if you play this inside, I'll show you actually, if we play it inside the viewport and press escape, it will end the session. And we want to make sure the escape function is working. So if you want to just click this little arrow here, go down to standalone game, click save selected and it will save and it will run and when it comes up is press I'm just gonna make it full screen with alt and enter and we wanna press escape and there we go so now we got options we got quick me I don't like this here this is this is fugly to me I need to sort that out so when we click resume it works so let me try this out now so we wanna set this guy to go over here but we wanna pause it okay now that is paused. When we resume, we should see him still running. There we go. So it does work. Um, I wish I put in a quit to main menu function. That would have been nice. So let's add in the quit to main menu. So if we go to designer and we do quit to main menu, um, I just want to modify this because this is bugging me quite a bit. Um, we want to click on the button that goes to quit to main menu drag down and in the event section we want to go and click on on clicked now with this what we want to do is we want to create widget and we want the widget to be main menu and then with the main menu we want to add to viewport And connect them up and then we want to remove from parent okay I believe that's all we need to do for this I could be wrong and I could make myself look like a right fool but we try it now so alt and enter so we're in a game right click drag and escape so Okay, good, that's working. I don't know why, what's up with this? This wasn't here earlier. There was an Unreal Engine update, so I think it might cause something like that. So we press Start. Obviously, if we start again, yay! Press Escape, quit the main menu. I want to quit that. So that is how you create the in-game menu. Now, you can add other functions to it, but you may want to have a look them up. If you want to see a specific function added, like a level select button, just ask me in the um, comments below and if you have any requests for any other videos or any other tutorial videos something you may be stuck on it maybe or something you may think that is good for other people to know how to do you can also say that in the comment section below and i believe that is it guys so until next time